What would Stephen Hawking do with his life if he had to do it all over again? Hawking, as you know, was one of the world's most illustrious physicists and science author, and now he's out with a new book, a personal memoir, entitled My Brief History, out this week from Bantam. He doesn't give many interviews as his illness does not allow him to converse in real time, but he did agree to answer a few questions we put to him, and I think some of his responses may surprise you. Let me give you those right now. First, we asked him, are there any mysteries about the universe you think we may never be able to answer? Questions beyond the reach of science. I believe there are no questions that science can't answer about the physical universe. Although we don't yet have a full understanding of the laws of nature, I think we will eventually find a complete unified theory. Some people would claim that things like love, joy, and beauty belong to a different category from science and can't be described in scientific terms, but I think they can all be explained by the theory of evolution. We asked him another question, and I think this gave us a really interesting answer. We asked him, if you were to start your career over again now, starting now, what would you study and why? If I were starting research now, I might study molecular biology, the science of life. Crick and Watson discovered the double helix structure of DNA and the genetic code in 1953. I did not realize its significance in 1957 when I had to choose a science to specialize in. In my school, the brightest boy did maths and physics, the less bright did physics and chemistry, and the least bright did biology. I wanted to do maths and physics, but my father made me do chemistry because he thought there would be no jobs for mathematicians. And finally, we asked him, what scientific question outside of physics most intrigues you? The biggest unsolved problem in science, outside physics, is the origin of life. Did it arise spontaneously on Earth, and if so, how, or did it come from another planet on a meteorite? Stephen Hawking, Director of Research at the Center for Theoretical Cosmology within the University of Cambridge, author of a new book, my Brief History. Charles Berkowitz is our director. Our senior producer is Christopher Taliata. Alexa Lim is our associate producer. Sam Flato, our production in- assistant. Neil Rausch, our technical director at the controls here in New York, uh, ably assisted by Manya today. If you missed any part of our program, go back, go to our website, and uh, go to our yeah, podcast. We can You can send all your devices over there to listen. Also, our videos are up there. Hundreds of them for you to uh, download and enjoy. And if you like us, like us on Facebook and continue a week-long discussion with us on Twitter at SciFry. You can also email us, SciFry at ScienceFriday.com. I'm Ira Flato in New York.